would do a short, I can't do that, I thought I would do a short video about um, some stuff that I've experienced uh, and basically stuff that's been going on, uh, but uh, I just want to do it in parts today, so I'm just going to start off, I, I have a few things I want to do before I upload the video, like, like edit it and stuff, so mainly that, I'm going to have to edit the video and put it together and everything, but um, yeah, so, anyway, so today, I was at the, these, uh, this, uh, the Doom Park, basically, and, uh, I just had thought about it because I had been there a long time ago, and I decided to go there, and it was just, uh, I don't know, I mean, I don't really have nostalgia or anything like that for it, for one thing, but it's also just, like, I don't know samey stuff, and all that, and whatever, you know, stuff, so, I, I, I thought about it, and I thought that, you know, basically, um, they are, you know, still trying to build over all of this stuff around here, and recently, the, this Lagoon Park actually was trying, well, they're, they're trying to get it, uh, taken, and they're basically trying to build over it, and stuff like that. And, uh, of course, they were, basically, my, the city here said, you know, hell no, and all that, and it's like, how long is that going to last, and, oh, by the way, by the way, this just ha so happens to be a rich, yucky town, so for a full of mostly white people, so, that might be the reason why the park's still here, uh, because everything else, they're building up, like, over everything in my town, they're building over everything in the town next to that, and they're building over everything. Yeah, every town adjacent to the town that I live at, um, overpopulation is, is rampant. But yet here in Carlsbad, it seems, uh, yeah, basically it's Carlsbad, I'll admit it, yes, it's Carlsbad. Just basically here, um, it's just, they, there's an illusion of, like, the machine isn't, isn't in place, and all everything is just hunky-dory, and everything is just fine, but, yes, only for these people. Only for these people that are on the, you know, they already have, um, you know, they're already comfy and all that shit. And so, yeah, the comfy shit does not help anybody. It never has. And, you know, I feel like my life and the people around me that I've seen in my life are an example of that, you know. The more that you pamper people and stuff like that, the more you try to skirt around the issues and everything, the more that becomes harder to admit those actual truths about reality. And so that's why I don't really believe in the whole nostalgia thing or anything like that, because it's just holding on to something that is in the past that wasn't really there anyway to begin with. And so you can't own up to what's actually happening now, which is a lot different from back then and all that stuff. So, yeah, just been thinking about that. Um, but, yeah, So I wanted to talk a little bit today about uh, the topic of like arrogance, but uh, I think I'll, uh, I don't know, I, I guess I could talk about it here, but it's just kind of weird, I don't know, I'll, I'll just gonna talk for a second, but yeah, it's like, basically I just wanted to bring up this stuff about how everybody is um, going on and on about how, Basically, all the anti-nihilist community today are somehow they are against SJWs now, which I thought we were I thought we were past this whole discussion with the SJW thing. I thought we understood that the, saying somebody's an SJW is like the libertarian way, like the conservative way. That's not really the way you actually refer to somebody who's like an activist. You know, you have to actually look at what they're doing, what they're saying. You can't just you know, blanket term, label them all because you're uncomfortable with their ideas. Because, I mean, again, I, it's not like with the conservatives and the libertarians, I just, oh, they're, they're retarded, I just ignore them. No, I read this, this, this shit by, like, the, the, the fucking libertarian, you know, scholars who just fucking, I mean, it's just, they, they have convenient beliefs for their, they, they have beliefs that conveniently fit the system that they, uh, are part that they benefit off of, which is, you know, privatization and 
all that stuff and globalization because you know they just want a cheaper fucking car they just want a cheaper fucking house they just want cheaper whatever shit because if they can you know make it off the back to somebody else then that's they'll do that and, and to, to 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 bring that up to them is just like oh my god how dare you say that you know I'm objectifying uh, women or how dare you say that uh, um, I'm racist or how dare you say that something I said was racist that's especially the one thing it's like if we can't get past saying something something somebody was somebody said was racist you know it's it's just we can't get anywhere it's like we have to at least agree okay saying you know the Holocaust is an is a is a um, what did he say it was the Holocaust is uh, was over exaggerated saying uh, like saying that like the, our friend from New Jersey uh, that's th- 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 we, we should be past that. that that's obviously racist it's like we can t- we can tell that uh, uh, immediately as soon as we hear that it's like yeah we've seen that argument before from neo Nazis we've seen that argument before from uh, tr- you know any number of people that are conservatives any number of people that um, are related to uh, <laughs> American politics right now, essentially, because we have 90% conservative majority or something like that, or whatever. It's just ridiculous, and we have no chance of changing anything because it's just going to be the loonies that are saying that everybody's an SJW because they want to have equality and they want to have a, a system that leads us to their anti natalist conclusion that we want. I don't understand how we can just do the same thing over and over again and somehow achieve anti-natalist things. Or, well, or I guess their idea is we're not going to achieve it anyway, so let's just be complete assholes while we're alive. So, I've never been a believer of that. I've always just been a believer of doing what I think is right for the sake of it, not for anybody else's sake, not for, <laughs> not because it's socially acceptable. And so, yeah. Anyways, I don't know. I might do another part of this, but I think this that pretty much re- like covers a good part of it. So this may or may not be the end of the video, depending on things. So peace and all that. Yeah, bye. Hey everybody. So uh, here's my part two of my thing that I was gonna do. There's like nowhere to walk in here at all really crappy situation but I don't know we'll try walking some more um so I was going to talk earlier about some about arrogance and how it makes it impossible for anything to get done um because the, you know, basically the thing the thing is that as long as people are just stubborn without reason, stubborn without cause, then, sorry, I'm smoking a joint too, but, uh, yeah, as long as they're stubborn without cause, then there's just not going to be any, any solutions to this problem. It's going to be the same problems. You know, you keep saying, go this way, go this way, go this way, and they're like, out of spite every time they're like nope going that way going the, going the other way going the other way because 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 no reason at all just because no reason at all just because I want to that's the reason that's the logical reasoning of the breeders just because I fucking want to all cause suffering and death and environmental destruction and uh, I'm not culpable though so yeah, it's it's amazing. How are you not how are you not coupled when you're literally causing all those things directly? I don't understand that. Mm-hmm. Um. I don't know. I guess we'll try to walk through here. I 
I, one thing I don't like about this camera, it goes too close up on my face. So I almost want to like point it away from my face, sort of. Anyways, um, so yeah, I just don't know why the fuck we can't just stop saying we're special for five minutes and just look around us and see that none of this is special. It's the same thing happening over and over again. So the only solution, the only way to uh, fix your life is die. I mean, really, at the end of the day, it's the only way to get peace in life is to die. Yeah, when I was at that park earlier, you know, it's like, they really... Even though it's supposed to be a park and it's supposed to be serene and all that, you know, I, the main thing I noticed is that there's two big highways next to it, and they're really loud, you know, even though they're across the pond and all that, and that's not loud enough for you. The people walking around sure are, and they're walking around with the strollers, of course. You can't stop with the strollers, because they can't stop being, like, egomaniacal, they can't stop being glib. They can't stop being Pollyanna. They can't stop pretending like it's just going to be A-OK -okay when it's just not, pure and plain and simple. I noticed the military wives have that complex the most. Like, no, 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 everything is just fine and hunky-dory and great and amazing, guys. I'm going to go sit down and watch Netflix and Hulu and I'm gonna go to the movies and I'm going to go to Starbucks and I'm going to go ride my, get seven SUVs and... You know, they just fucking are totally in denial because they are the, the epicenter of the fucking problem. The epicenter themselves. So, yeah. I'm sure glad there's nobody here, though. There's people all over the fucking place at the other shit show fucking park <coughs> the lagoon <coughs> still recording okay well that's successful then that's good it's not terrible kind of dark anyways. Those sunglasses are very, very dark. Extremely dark. Maybe I should get some ones that are like brighter than that or something. I've just been trying to work on a lot of life's shit that's like really irritating and all that and it's like mainly school and trying to get to the point where I can pay for school and all this crap and etc. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, basically just fucking Mainly, what I try to do to distract is I use I use Linux, the, the operating system Linux, you know, uh, Ubuntu Linux. Well, I actually use like I guess you call it Kubuntu because it's like K desktop thing. And then I put I put. Uh, this lightweight version of Linux called Antics, which is anti-capitalist X, 
That's the fucking full title. Anti-Capitalist X. Or, or Anti-Capitalism X, however you want to look at it. Which is a pretty hardcore name. So, uh, but I put that on my, my laptop and I swear to God, at a full load, it'll run like probably, well I mean by full load I mean like I'll be running like four programs or five programs or whatever on a thing. And it still only takes up like probably half a fucking gig of memory, so it's pretty amazing. Which is and uh, which is pretty good because that lap that little mini laptop thing that I have is only it's like two g two gigabytes I think. No, yeah, two gig. But that thing's quite old. And so I'm done with this for now. But yeah, so um. So what I did with that thing was I actually kind of semi turned it into like a entertainment center ish thing, but it's like now I just have like a wireless keyboard and mouse where I can control it if I'm like watching like some like a TV or something like that or whatever. And I don't know why I bother with all that, but like I mean, you know, boredom, misery. Uh, yeah, but this Antics is pretty, it's pretty, it's a pretty good operating system, if you're using, like, an old computer. Um, but you gotta remember, it's 32 bits, so it's only gonna get, like, it's only gonna read, like, 3 gigs of RAM. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, speaking of which, there's, there's, uh, quite a market for those 32-bit operating systems, it seems. And, you know, like, they have quite a lot of lightweight, like, like I was saying about Antics, it's, like, lightweight versions of uh, Linux, you know, lightweight desktop environments, and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, they have a lot of those lightweight desktop environments, and, uh, you can like they, they would all basically all any of them would be su like superior to Windows because Windows the problem is is that if you install any updates on that thing it's gonna start getting bloated right away because the pr the problem not not necessarily bloated but it's gonna be upgrading to these programs that your system cannot support and they don't tell you these things and you're just like oh okay and something and some problem happened and you're just like oh oh what was that I don't know I I have no idea they didn't tell me. And so, that's why I like Linux, you can see th what the updates are, all the files and everything, and you know where you got the files from, and what the source code of the file, I mean, you know everything down to the, to the bottom line of it. So, I think I'm going to start heading back, but I was also thinking about BSD, like, versus Linux. Now, this is just getting more into boring shit that I, like. Probably the majority of my subscribers aren't interested in it, but BSD, it's like they use it's a the Berkeley software distribution and it's an operating system, but it's also a licensing like contract. And it basically puts your work if you're a coder, if you do coding work, it puts your work in the public domain. Essentially, so you can get the, it says you're free to re redistribute the code in binary, which means without the source, or the source and for, for money or for free so the problem is with that is that you they apple actually re uses these bsd licenses they, they misuse them right because they they steal them and they just like they put them in these binary programs that are all fucking spying on you i mean <coughs> the vast majority of uh, apple programs literally have spying functionality built in and I'm not bullshitting. I'm not bullshitting. It's literally true. So that's the problem with the BSD thing is that you can't see that code and know what it's doing. I mean so I don't know. But they have Seems like they have a decent amount of licenses that they that they uh, give.
effective for, for coating and all that stuff, but I don't know. To me, all I really care about is the program open source and can I, you know, install it from the source code? Like, that's all I really want to do. I don't know. Like, if it costs money, then okay. If it doesn't cost money, okay. But, and sometimes, of course, I just want to use, like, the pre-built packages. But, I still want to be able to see that source code because it's important, I think. You really need to know what's on your computer. Because with Windows, I never knew any of that. And so I was getting spied on and getting all sorts of viruses and crap. And, you know, there's no way to avoid it because the system is designed for you to get viruses. It's all proprietary software where you can't see the code. So, yeah, it kind of sucks. Same with Mac, you can't see the code. Um, I guess they have some other alternative operating systems that are open source. Like there's this one that's like, well they have a bunch of them that are based on uh, like Red Hat Linux or they're based on like Fedora or they're based on fucking uh, Oracle Linux also. I forget what the hell they call that version. It's like Oracle something systems Linux. But they have a bunch of stuff that's already open source on those platforms, and they're like doing that on purpose, I guess. Trying to make a good percentage of the programs open source. Which I can give credit for that, but I still wouldn't use any of those fucking... They're basically pseudo-paid programs. It's like, you know, because you can't really... I don't know, and especially with Fe like Fedora, for example, that's like the one that's like... It's like super cutting edge, and what I mean is like... What I mean when I say that is it's like... All the programs, it's like a rolling release, and, so all, the, and all the programs are, are the newest available. And so you get a lot of problems as a result of that. Unless um, if you use something like Ubuntu, where they have the, they have a solid repository where it's not going to be fucking bullshit that's going to be breaking all the time. And the good thing about... The good thing about those, the GPL license, for example, is that if a, if a code is broken and they can't, you can't make install it, and you can't, you know, basically, uh, you know, uh, build this code from the source. Well, then it, it's not compliant with the with the GPL code because all the all they really ask for is that you be able to install it, and the source code is available, and all that stuff. So. That's the problem, is with Windows, if something breaks, they, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. You call them up, I've called them up so many times, you have no idea. I've called up Windows so many times. Fuck, they are the worst company of all time. They have to be, I swear to God. You call them up, if any problem, and they're just like, uh-huh, okay, let me go, you know, install something, and then, they, oh, when that thing doesn't work, okay, let me restart the computer. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay, let me uninstall, then un then restart the computer. Then, let me start on the computer, let me install again. <laughs> it's like, they just, they're so fucking amazingly, like, the problem is that <laughs> they're so amazingly, cr like, ret like, retarded. Like, the problem is, is that, they, is that they don't know what to do because there is no option. Their code is closed off. So you don't know what to do. That's why they're clowns. So, that's why when you call up a Linux fucking, you know, any of those, like, uh, Linux support lines, they have, especially for stuff like Red Hat and all that stuff, you, they have support lines that are, like, top-notch. Because they know the code, right? They, they, the shit that's important, it's all, it's all open source on the program, on the uh, system. Because they're smart. They realize, well, shit, we'll make money, right? But we still want this code to be open source so everybody knows how to fix it. So, but Mac, they've always been against that since day one. No, no, my code's special. I'm going to steal it all from the Linux guys and then I'm not going to give credit and then I'm just going to be an asshole and it's like, 
<laughs> well, that's why I hate Mac too. Mac and Android. Because Android, it's supposed to be open source, but they don't release the source. And not only that, but the vast majority of the programs on Google Play, in fact, yeah, yeah, the vast majority of them, almost all of them, are like either freemium, which means they're not free as in, you know, they're not free as in you get freedom to use it however you want. They're like free as in, uh, we'll let you use it. And then, okay, but there's a bunch of shit you have to buy if you want to keep playing it. So, yeah, that sucks. That's not real. Those aren't real programs. Those are just like gimmicks. And so that's why I don't really use a cell phone all that much. Cause it's just a, all the gimmicks on there are useless. It's just a phone. It's a phone, phone, phone. Phony phone, phone, phone with a camera on it. So, yeah. Anyways, that's it. Peace.